Hey there YouTube, another Taurus High Point production coming at you. My name's Ray Shepard. I'm going to try to cover today some casting this, try to make it as funny as best I can. These are even myths that are, some of the myths are still perpetuated here on YouTube. Um, some of them are just what I've heard through my, my, my casting years that I've been doing this 10 to 12 years now. Uh, well, the biggest one is always smoke your molds. Now, as I said, I've been doing this for 10 or 12 years and I've never smoked a mold. Uh, how much lead you had stick? How many of them you have see shot? Huh? <laughs> Not a one. What? Now, I do a step where I float a little lard on the top of my lead. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or if that has helped with the non-sticking process, but I've never smoked a single mold from my what is it 375 round ball all the way to my 320 grain Lee real bullet I've never smoked a mold and call it what you want and call it garbage or BS if you would but no, it's it's true. I've never smoked a mold. Got that one covered and out of the way. And lead has never stuck to it. But we're done. Moving on to the next pony. Okay. Got some notes here. <laughs> mm. Frosted bullets. Frosted bullets shatter like glass. So we always throw the frosted one back. Show me it shatters like glass. Hit it with a hammer. No, 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 they, they, they chatter. That's all there is to it. Hit it with a hammer. Can you tell me what is causing the frosting? The, the frosted color to the bullet? Uh, 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 okay. Comes down to three things. First of all, your alloy that you're using. The, the lead itself not being up to temp or as high a temp as it needs to be or your mold not being the temp that it needs to be or any combination of those two together will cause your bullet to be frosted. Is it a weaker or shatter bullet strike it with a hammer next one you get hit it with a hammer let me know if it shatters like the eyes throw it in the comments I'm done with that one <coughs> oh, wow I'm casting this wow frosted boy smoking the ball <laughs> Torture. Uh, uh, oh, he's hurting my will. Uh. Just because your feelings are hurt or you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Anywho, moving right along. <clears throat> my favorite. 
and I still can't believe I the number of times I've heard this today, even though on here on YouTube, Fortune Cookie 45 LC shatters it. Okay. Now there are two different processes in which this is supposed to happen. One is absolutely 100% unequivocally the truth. The other is the myth. Water and lead. No! No! Okay. Water in the lead pot or in whatever container or in the lead itself that you're melting down. You're cooked. Hey, that, that, that goose is gone. Done. That thing is will because as the, the steam builds up under that lead, oof. Just common knowledge and out there for everybody. Yeah. The other one. that happened to my cousin's neighbor's aunt's nephew's cat who was pumping the neighbor's buffalo a little bead of water hit the top of the lead and kaboom it burned everything down for a four thousand miles yeah it did lie, rumor, myth. Oh, you're asking me how I know. As I stated, Fortune Cookie 45 LC has his own video up of this process of what happens when you pour water onto molten lead. The water is lighter than the lead and it's not going to get into it. So all it's going to do is dance around on the top and evaporate off. The second way I know this is because what happened to me forced me to look up that procedure. I was out in my shed and casting about a hundred degrees out there that day maybe a little hotter and I'm sweating mm. Mm. Uh. I'm 5'9", about 250 yeah, you just pouring out of every orifice And my shed's a little enclosed in. It's got one door on it. I've got an exhaust fan set up where it's pulling the lead out. But it's still hot. And I'm sweating. And I'm casting. And some of the sweat runs off. Starts to fall. I've got stuff in my hand as I just drop. And I throw myself to the side, trying to get out of the way of this explosion that's about to happen. You know what happened when that lead, when that water come off of my nose, that sweat, electrolytes and salt, and hit that molten lead? You want to know what happened? Come on! No. It danced around and fizzled out. I was like, well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. There should have been a couple The earth shattering kaboom. Everything should have been burnt for 4,000 miles. Arr. Why did that fizzle out and not couple Well, hmm, hmm.
keyboard, computer, interweb, internet, whatever works for you. All of a sudden, Fortune 5, Fortune Cookie, 45 LC's video pops up. Hmm. Interesting. Read, scroll, read, scroll. Another interesting. The water, which is coming off of you sweat, the moisture, is lighter than the molten lead that is in that pot. It's just going to sit right on top and peter around and fizz out, evaporate. It may leave some trail of electrolytes and salt through there, more dross or something you got to scrape up, but it's not going to... So as you get out there to cast, and you're wondering about all the stuff you've heard and how much of it is actually myth, rumor, and lie, pretty much all of it. <laughs> pretty much all of it. Yeah. Um, the thing you really need to be aware of, okay? Uh, I do some lead rec rec reclam reclam. I pick up some range lead, some lead pipe, some lead scrap, a uh, piece of keel from a boatyard or something from time to time, and I throw a big, you know, like Dutch oven thing on a cast iron Dutch oven thing over a turkey fryer, and I melt my lead for my. When casting, I make my own ingots. In that process, okay, if there is water in the lead itself, like lead pipe, uh, in the corner of a flashing, uh, you know, it, and some of the range scrap you might pick up, if there's any water anywhere in there, as that process begins to heat up and that lead turns molten, okay, it's spider in the pipe. Uh, it could be something really simple, pill bug in a pipe, you know, insect in a pipe hiding out, but it, the body is mainly water like us. And that water in that lead begins to evaporate off. And since it's under the liquid stuff, you're going to have some issues. It's going to pop or explode depending on how much lead is in that pot over. It's already melted over the liquid as it starts to evaporate. That evaporation is energy and it's just going to force its way out. This has been a Taurus High Point production covering a moment thereof. If you're a new caster and you, you've heard all this stuff and how much of it is the truth compared to how much of it is myth. Let everything you've heard drop to the side and start your research. I, I've heard it all coming up through the years. The lead exploding. If a drop of sweat hits it. Um, to uh, Having to smoke your molds. and it's, it's, They're creating fear where there needs none to be. This has been a Taurus High Point production. I choose, therefore, I am responsible. <laughs>